Hi, I want to revisit my demo related to the SPI Digital Potentiometer MCP4131. In a previous video, I used that chip, which is an SPI 10K Digital Potentiometer. But on that chip, the data out, MOSI, and the data in, MISO, are combined, which is not SPI standard, and I was not able to read information from the chip, even from an Arduino. But today I have a MCP4231, which is a dual 10K digital potentiometer, and this chip has the proper MOSI and MISO pin, and I didn't have any issue implementing set, increment, decrement, and get on both potentiometer. My current project is spi.digitalpotentiometer.mcp4231, which is on GitHub. I'm going to show you how I wire Newsbio to talk SPI. On GPIO0, in white, I plug the clock. On GPIO1, in green, I plug the SPI select function. On GPIO2, in yellow, I plug MOSI master out slave in. And on GPIO4, in orange, I plug MISO master in slave out. Here is the c -sharp code which initialized the MCP4231 component. You will understand later why my class is called Bicolor LED MCP4231 Manager. Let's run the program. For this first demo, the green wire is the output of my potentiometer zero, which is plugged into a 10 ohm resistor and then plugged into my multimeter. I'm going to press the zero key to execute loop through 10 key pot function. What this function does is loop through the 128 steps of the potentiometer from zero to 128. And for each step, we're going to set the value and display some information. Let's run it. I'm going to let it run for a little bit. And then I'm going to set a breakpoint when we reach 1 milliamp of current. Here we go. So what do we have here? At step 0, the resistance is 10,000 ohm. At step 64, the resistance is... 5008 ohms and at 5 volt according to ohm's law the computed consumption of current should be 1 milliamp and if you look at the multimeter we have 0 0.97 milliamp of current which is pretty close now i'm going to let the function finish Oops, I pressed the wrong key and interrupted the function. But you get the idea. Now with this potentiometer, I can make my current vary based on a resistance of 0 to 10K.